This is code.org, and we're going to investigate and modify. Run the program to observe what it does. Don't have to tell me twice. I see code. I click the run. Okay, we're painting white. Oh, yeah, right here. Oh, purple. Green. And then we'll turn ooh, blue and red. Okay. Then make the following changes to your program. Run the program after each change to observe what it does. Find the paint e east turn south method in painterplus.java. What do you think it does? All right, guys, a few things if I'm on the right. Oops, geez. Uh, Painter plus paint east turn south right there. So remember what wall does or while as long as this thing is true, everything in this block runs. So that means right off the bat when paint east turns south and we're passing the color white, keep in mind. When that actually runs, it says, hey, can, hey, hey, is the painter facing east, right? Well, that's up here. This is where we're painting white. So are we facing east? Yes, this is true. And so the computer says, oh, it is true. So I have to run all of this code in the block. Once it runs all this stuff, guys, and hits the bottom, since it's in a loop, since it's in a while loop, it must check again. So once it hits the bottom, it doesn't keep going. It has to be like, oh, wait. Are we facing east? And we still would be. We only move once during this. So we still would be. So this is still true and it repeats. And that's the difference between wall and an if. The code in an if is only going to run technically once unless it's in a loop. All right. That's kind of weird to say, though, because this if will run multiple times. Why? It's in the loop. All right. So as long as we're facing east, then what do we do? So what this is saying is if you cannot... A negation operator, an explanation point in almost every programming language that I can think of, not Visual Basic, means not. So this is a double negative kind of. It's weird to say this, but we're saying can not move south. And so if I say, hey, can we not move south? And you said true, right? That means, yeah, we cannot move south. So what I'm asking here is can not move south. Well, you see these cones here? Yep, that is true. When I'm up here, I cannot move south. So this is true since we cannot move south. And so therefore, we move forward one, boop, and we paint white. Remember that was the color we passed? Else, this can't run. We already did if. So an if else means only one thing can run. If either runs or the else code runs. The stuff in here runs or the stuff in here runs. Since the stuff in the if ran, we're good. Everything in the else is skipped. Hit the bottom, we check again, we're right here. Hey, can we move east? Yes, we can still, so that's true. Hey, can we not move south? Yep, we can still not move south, so this is true. Right, we move forward, we paint this white. Zoop, done. Hit the bottom because we have to skip the else because we could still not move south. And then we keep getting to here. Now, this is where it's interesting. When we get to here, we once again, hey, are we facing east? Yep, we would still be facing east right now. Can we not move south? Wait, can we not move south? That's false, right? We can move south. So can we not move south? The computer would say false. The painter can move south. Well, when if is false, it cannot run this code. It's not allowed. So it has to skip it. So this is false. The computer must skip over that code. However, there is an else. So since there's an else, it absolutely has to turn right and move. So we turn right and move. We hit the bottom of our loop, our wall loop, and it goes up, oh, bottom of our wall loop, go back to the top. Am I facing east? Well, no, I just turned right and I would be facing this direction at that point. So now that chunk of code is done. In lines 10 through 13, comment lines 10 through 13, so only move paint and paint east south. Okay. I'm going to do a multi line comment 10 through. So just those. Yep, perfect. Just like we said. All right. So that makes sense. Now, if Painter Plus deleted the explanation point and the if statement, then run the program. What do you think happens? Cool. Let's head over here. And as we just talked about, what does this explanation point do? And paint east turn south. It checks if we cannot move south right? As long as we cannot. So now this isn't going to run past here because immediately, hey, as long as we're facing east, yep, 
we're facing east. Can you move south? No, this is false. Right here, that would be false. Can we move south? The computer says, nope, you can't move south. So since this is false, we do not run this code. We go down, we must run the else. Since we can move south, can, since we cannot move south, this is now false. And so we have to turn right. Once we turn right, we try to move, which will err. But then we hit the bottom anyways, and we have to again say, while I am facing east, because it's a loop, we have to ask one more time. We're not facing east, so that code's done. I'm going to add it back. And I'm going to recom allow these to run. Okay. Try uncommenting the other methods that you commented out in step two and deleting the explanation point and the if statements for each method one at a time. Okay. So let's go down to this one. Can move north. Let's see what happens. Boop. We ran into this. Why did that happen? Because paint east turn north now, as long as we're facing east, right? This is says, yep, we're facing east down here again, right? Because if we don't run this at first, paint east turn north, we run it here. And so it says, yep, you're facing east. And then if you can move north, well, I can move north because we got rid of the negation. This used to say if you can't. If you can move north, oh, well, that's false, right? I cannot move north right here. There's a car in the way. So since this is false right here, we don't run the code in the if, but we have to run the stuff in else. So we immediately turn left and attempt to move. We get this error. We then hit the bottom of our loop, go back to the top, and we say, hey, are you facing east, painter? Well, I'm no longer facing east because of what just occurred. And guys, this is what's going to happen throughout here. So what happened with this one? This is now if you can move. So all of these are going to be causing issues. Getting rid of this negation means we flip right here and turn left. We're no longer facing south at that point, right? We turn left right here because we can move. And so we immediately turn left and we move. We skip the else because this was true. We go back to the top. We're no longer facing south. So that's done running too. So it's really important to understand what that means. It's the cannot. It's the not or the negation operator. It also, you need to understand if a statement is true, the code in here runs. If it's not true, the else has to run. So I can't wait to see how we use this. Let's keep going.